Yo, what's up? Today's gameplay is gonna be the Alien Cube. It's a demo once again. Let's start with that new game. See what's up. So we're starting in a cave, huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? All right. I'm moving. Jump. Crouch. run too what am I supposed to do in here it looks like I came in bleeding or something a lot of skulls too the man in the picture is me how is that possible what's that place What is this place? She's is huge. Am I supposed to go through here or what? Big stone doors are firmly closed and mechanicals must be what must be what must be here to open them. Hey dude. Wait, what the fuck? seems to that a gear is me missing a gear I have to go look for that fucking gear is it this one what is this bitch wait wait I think it's this one Hopefully it works. Yes, sir. Alright, we're out of here. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, this shit looks nice. Hey, explore the area. Oh, this is a nice scenery, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, just continue this road? I don't think I can go down. No, I think it's too high. Looks a little too high. Looking around, so it won't be seen by anyone if there's something out there. Bro, what the fuck? 
See that shit coming, but yep. investigate the following meteor. Right. Didn't even be doing this shit. Give me the voices. Is this? Oh fuck. Huh? I don't know what the fuck was that. Was that a dream maybe? Was I dreaming? Oh. He's asking the same thing. What time is it? That dream, it was realistic. It was so realistic and disturbing. Everything I felt was so real. Um, so tired. I need to check everything, whatever. Wait, I could interact. Can I interact with all this? No, I guess not. I just leave? Alright. My journal, October 6, 1999 at 3 a.m. Tonight I find myself writing on the pages of my journal once more, hoping it helps me fall asleep and to find peace again. Nights are troubled by sudden and unexplain unexplainable awakenings more and more often. Immediately afterwards, bathed in sweat, I feel ter ter terribly tired and I have an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something upsetting that I don't remember. On second thoughts, though, all of this could be due to recent events, the breakup with Jenny, the move, and finally my uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter, the latter event is particularly must have been upset more than I'd have expected, considering the nuclear, the unclear nature of facts, of the facts. What the newspaper reports is very strange indeed. Only God knows what happened now. My new home hasn't helped me improve my to improve my situation. Perhaps it's just too early. I need more time. I'd better ask Pete for a few days off. I'm I'm sure that a short break from work will be beneficial. Look like I could interact with anything. Don't look like it. Food. Oh shit. Yeah, you do. Newspaper. Oh, that's a lot to read, man. One, not, one month after Edgar Mitchell's disappearance, police have identified his probable whereabouts at the time of the disappearance. This is a thought that has been in the family cabin, a small build, building deep in the mountains and at an altitude of 1,500 meters. The building was found completely destroyed by fire. The search team's arrivals in the area has been particularly difficult due to several to recent heavy snowfalls. The cabin can only be reached on foot via steep and challenging mountain paths, which are very dangerous to walk at this time of the year. According to Detective Damiano, the, the dynamics of the blaze are, are clear. The fire appears to have started in the fireplace, which also left unintended a long time. Abundant traces of blood have been found in the 
front of the cabin, suggesting that Edgar was wounded probably because of the place itself. However, following it, traces left him leading towards the woods, providing no clues because although initially clearly, clearly visible, they were found and disappeared unexpectedly, unexpected, unexplainably in the in the vicinity of the cabin. Another mystery complaint complicates the case still further. Edgar's traces are, no, are not only once observed at the site, the police have found other tracks next to his, but their origin and shape are unclear. It could be something else, not just a person, maybe something. Detective Dam Damiano was not at liberty and divulged too much information, but he described the footprints as having made having been made by something huge and very heavy. Today the search has been suspended because of the bad weather and, the su and this suggests that there is little chance of finding Edgar still alive in the mountain where the temperatures are currently well below freezing. Uh, that was a lot to read. What we got in here is a restroom. Anything I need. Sink. Can't stop thinking about the dream. It was strange. I was just calling. I was feeling deep. Did I just hear a knock? Oh shit. Okay. Who's at the door? Oh, probably the postman. By now, who's at the man? Why does it make it seem like it's scary or some shit? Is it here? Not here. I'm opening every fucking door. <laughs> All right. I don't see anyone though. Oh, it's a letter. Oh, Edgar's letter. What the fuck? Okay. Arthur, my ne my dear nephew, if you're reading this, it, mean it means that I am gone. I gave instructions to a clo close friend to deliver this message to you in the event that something bad should happen to me. In the last few years, we lost contact with one another. I know I am sorry for that. My life changed a lot, and I am the only shadow of the man who knew you knew when you were just a ch when you were a child. I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I haven't been, I haven't always been there for you, but I, I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me for that. As you know, I. I have never been married or had children, so I decided to leave you all to leave you all my possessions, even though I don't own a lot. Your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains, which used to belong to your grandparents, is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building of number 13 Old Wood Street in Winter Falls. It's quite old and in bad condition, but I could not afford anything better. Amongst my belongings, you will probably find something, some things you won't be able to make sense of. I ask you to discard everything without question. I am referring in particular to my manuscripts. They are very personal and as you will perhaps have been told, writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you. Be f therefore, not to read them and to de to deal with my re research. Get rid of everything so that nothing can be found. You will find the apartment key in the envelope. Do what you desire with it, but I beg that you respect my last wish. I have always loved you, your uncle Edgar. All right, so this means I'm gonna end up reading uh reading all that shit. <laughs> ready to go out on. I don't even remember what my room was. My room?
It would be a long trip. I better take cassette player so I can listen to some good music. Where, where is it? Yeah, I wonder how it'll even look. Oh, here it is. Alright, uh, I got it. It gets flattened many hours away. Fuck. The apartment. Yo, this shit is fucked up. <laughs> oh no, it's going inside. Oh, okay. I thought, it was, I thought I was already inside. Still, what the fuck? Oh, this is not the right apartment. Is this one? Nope. Oh, how much you want to bet the last one? Where the sun's hitting it. Oh no, never mind. Okay. The okay. lights were on all this time. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yo, my guy, what the fuck was that? There's no phone line. Hello? There's something metal that's sparkling under the grate with the right tool you should be able to... Yeah. Can I go look for a tool for that shit? Oh no 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 fuck that. Turn it on. Hello? Who's here? What is this? I knew I was gonna fucking read his fucking journal shit. Alright, finally after many years, I returned to the old family ho home. Unfortunately, when I arrived, I saw nothing but a house was left. Of the house was left. Everything has been reduced to a sad pile of rubble. However, it was it was there among all debris that I found a strange ch chest. Although clearly very ancient, it was it's exquisitely crafted, made from fine wood decorated with strange geometric symbols that I'd never seen before. At first, I didn't notice this, as when I was a child, I used to see all these kinds of bizarre objects around the house. Found, found who knows where by my father during one of his countless journeys. The chest, however, has something sinister and mysterious about it. So I decided to extract it from the debris and try to open it. I hope that writing this journal, I hope that writing this journal will help me overcome my shock at my discovery. Because of what I found inside that terrible chest is nothing that could be that could belong to this world. Huh. Oh, uh I forgot the fuck was I gonna look for? Oh key, key, key. Wait, is it key? No. A tool. Mechanical. Okay, there's strange mechanicalism mechanic mechanism? Oh, <laughs> There's strange mechanic me mechanism. They <laughs> There's a strange mechanic and mechanic. What the fuck? I can't even say it. There's a strange mechanism fitted in the wood. Something that has been removed, showing the gear. Mechanism. I don't think I should have done that. It won't open. There's something on the other side that's blocking the door. Hello? What's over there? Yeah, I 
have to go this side first. Yeah. Oh shit! Huh? Wait, 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 what the fuck just happened? Oh no, fuck that! Oh, what was that? It's like, why did Eric keep, keep this room closed? What the fuck broke? Oh, that shit's fucking broken. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I'll go through. Oh, the kitchen be closed. Doesn't work. Yo, man, you never know when it's time to run. <laughs> yeah. Ow! I know, right? I mean, you saw the fucking ass. I just fucking ate it. Alright. Damn, man. Oh, there's three smell. How could my uncle live in these conditions? Looks like something's dead. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, I'm about to go through this shit. Fuck. This shit just keeps getting worse, man. Oh, this shit looks disgusting. <laughs> Wait, what? What just happened? That's it? Well, I guess that's it. Nothing happens. It's person, whoever I saw. Fucking kicked me in the face and then it's like, that's the end. I guess it is what it is, man. So I hope you guys enjoy I'll play some other games. See what's up. Catch you guys on the next one.